I think international football is very transient now. Uh, you know, with you know, people crossing continents, that type of thing, parentage, all of those types. I understand that and I understand that you, you can play or choose to play for whoever you want, whichever. You know, I've got a Swedish grandmother, I could have played for Sweden. But the one thing I, I disagree with, and I think a ruling should be made, as soon as you wear a national shirt for a country... Even in the U-Franks? Especially in the U-Franks. OK. You cannot change allegiances and go and play for somebody else and somebody... That, that turns into club football for me. So, bearing in, my, in that in mind, Declan Rice should never have played for England? Uh, yes. For... As in, it's not a statement about Declan. That was the the rules at the time. If you play youth football up to under 21, when we played a tournament against Germany in the major finals, their left back turned up playing for the Canadians a month later afterwards or however long from being a German under 21 international, which you can do. I think you can ceiling out under 21 level. For me, I, I just think it's wrong. I think if you decide to put a national shirt on at any age group, this is my personal opinion. Yeah. You should not be allowed to chop and change and go and J- play for another nation. Jamal Masiala has actually done it the other way around. He played for England, now he's going to play for Germany. Didn't they change the rules fairly recently yeah. where actually, even if you've been capped at full international level in a friendly, yeah. as long as it's not a competitive game, you can still I switch allegiances. Alex, where friendly. does that yeah. end? Where does it end? Well, it ends with competitive internationals. If you play a qualifier, then you can't. I, I just think it, I just think but it's it, totally wrong. It does I, stop honestly. nations doing what Sam was was advocating that England should do, just picking Tarek Lamptey in, in maybe a Nations League game, just to stop and, him and that's wrong going off itself. and playing for yeah. Ghana. And when Danny Welbeck w- was was picked to play for the seniors, I'm not suggesting he wasn't good enough at the time. You know, but I he had was fast track because they were playing with Ghana the under 21s. I also him. had you know Victor Moses with the under yeah. 21s and, and Wilf Zaha that have gone on to play for other nations. I just think once you commit. It gives players, have a good think about it, decide if you're multinational and you can and play for any nation. Once you pick a nation to play with, I, I personally think that should be the rule. Some, will, some people that. will turn around and say, yeah, but most uh, you might have been different when you were 16, 17, 18, whatever. You came into the game late as well. Yeah. You know, you, you may have had the option to play for Sweden, but I take it you didn't even consider it. Didn't even know. Right. Didn't even think about it. But, but you're yeah. speaking from a, a privileged position in that you were not only somebody who was regularly called up by England, you were the first choice left back. So had you have not been good enough to hold down a place regularly in the England team and the Swedish FA gave you an opportunity to play at a World Cup, might that have been different? Maybe. Maybe. I'm I'm not sure. You're right. I, I'm speaking from today and, um, you know, my allegiance to England, that type of thing. But... It doesn't sit right with me. It almost seems like club football, but, but, but a badge of convenience. But people that are making these dis- decisions at the ages of 16, 17, 18, and arguably when you're 16, 17 and 18, you don't know what sense of nationhood you've got. You might not be educated in your heritage. You may not even know that you do have heritage. As you mentioned, you didn't even know you qualified uh, for Sweden yeah. until until later on. So th- it's, is, is it wrong then to cut off at a certain age or once you've made an international debut for, for a young team an avenue to a player who could go on to have a great international career but because of a, a fleeting moment that they were unaware of when they were younger they ended up becoming a, an England under 17 international I, I personally think yes I think it's fair this is international football for me once you pick your allegiance to play for a country and you put that shirt on what does it do for what do the Irish people think of of, of maybe Declan for an, you brought the, the name up? Yeah, yeah Declan, upset about it. Having put his shirt on yeah. and all of a sudden he, he's played for England and, and he's Jack, going to have a brilliant Jack Grealish. Yeah, exactly that. I mean, for me, I I don't think it's right personally. I, my opinion is once you go down a certain route, and I don't mind anybody if they can play for some individuals can play for probably six or seven different nations potentially. Yeah. Once you pick one, pick one, because otherwise you're chopping and changing, especially if you've got a senior international cap and you're suggesting you can change. All of a sudden, you can play in one World Cup and because your country hasn't qualified, you decide to go and play for another one that's got more chance. That's club football. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.